All right, so this is a really quick video on how to adjust numbers that are in scientific notation. A lot of times you'll be multiplying or dividing numbers, and they're not really in scientific notation. If you'll notice, um, this is 32.729. In order to be in scientific notation, you have to have a decimal number that's between 1 and 10, and that's not the case here. But we can just make a couple of adjustments to make that happen. So what will happen here is I will move the decimal one place to the left, which makes this 3.2729. And when I did that, I basically made this number smaller, which means that I'm going to have to make this one bigger. Now, when it comes to negative exponents, you have to be kind of careful because a lot of times people go, oh, you know what? 4 is bigger than 3, and they'll write down negative 4. But remember, with negatives, everything's running the opposite direction. So if you made this negative 4, you'd actually be making it smaller. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to make this bigger by 1 because I actually moved the decimal 1. So I'm going to make it negative 2. So now this number is in scientific notation. Moving along down here to B. So I have 0.178, definitely not in scientific notation. I'm going to have to move the decimal this way. Well, when I did that, if I turned 0.178 into 1.78, I basically made that number bigger. So I'm going to write 1.78, which means that this one over here is going to actually have to become 1 smaller. So to make it 1 smaller, I go from 2 to 1. All right. And then I have this one over here. So this is actually, need the decimal needs to move over here to where the 3 is, uh, because it's 355 right now. So I'm going to move it 1, 2, making this number into 3.55002 times. So I, when I did that, I made this number smaller, which means that this one's going to have to become bigger. Except compared to the previous two that I did, this is going to actually have to become bigger by 2. So um, I moved the decimal twice over here, so I'll move this up to to be to the power of 7. This one over here, uh, I gotta make this a little bit bigger. Again, I gotta go 1, 2 to make this into a 3.7. So this became bigger. And this is gonna have to become smaller. So again, remember with negatives to be careful because a lot of times people go, oh, too smaller, that'll make it 0. Actually, 2 smaller is gonna be negative 4. So I gotta make this smaller. So 10 to the negative 4. And the final one, I just need to move it one place over here. So I have 1.0329. I moved it one place to make it actually smaller, which means this number over here is going to have to be bigger. So if I made that bigger, it would actually be times 10 to the 0. And that's how you adjust numbers that uh, are not quite in scientific notation.